so today I'm going to be doing a couple of reads. Um, I'm going to start with Jubilee Reed. I know she's a teenager, but I don't know where she's missing from or how old she is. I think she may be 16, 15, 16, 17. So this is going to be E. Otis Harris III. I'm going to look into his case. Now I did an overview on him a couple of weeks ago. So um, you can check that out. I might leave it a link to it in the uh, at the end of the video. So so you see drugs that came out. So let's see if that comes back out later on. So, we have here a death, a fight, and someone being exposed. So, someone someone being exposed means that someone is naked or new and they're exposed, or you expose somebody for who they truly are. And then we have this fight here. This means that you're dealing with some things internally, battling some things internally, or actual physical fight here. So maybe you got in a fight and it led to this death because someone was exposed for who they really are. See these drugs coming back out. So we have this death here as it relates to some drugs. So the death is connected to some drugs in some type of way. Somebody is paying somebody back, coming back around. Looks like payback here. So this is like somebody could have came back around and paid you back. And then now someone is broken emotionally or something is broken on the body. And we see we had a fight here. So someone could have gotten something broken on their body because of a fight. Somebody is getting somebody back because they have exposed them. And then you have this death here connected to some drug use. So here we have, this card means that someone can't see the reality of a situation. There's self-deception. Um, they're not seeing things clearly. It's known means that someone outside of the situation knows what's going on. So somebody outside of Eotis and whoever did this to them knows what's going on here. And then you have this job, which is someone's employment. Uh, this could be um, employment something you're designated to do or a co-worker so this could be someone from his job or that he did a job for So here we have the media. Media is any type of communication, whether text messages, voice, um, video, chat, whatever, however you communicate with somebody. That's the media. It could also be news media as well. So there is some type of communication here. Then you have the bias. This is someone who's making a judgment on you 
um, whether it's good or bad. And then we have the jealousy here. So jealousy, envy, and hate. So there could be some communication about um, how somebody felt about you. Somebody could have been telling you how they felt like they could be jealous of you or there's somebody felt some type of way about you, but there was some communication between someone, either him and another person or someone about him because this person had some envy or jealousy towards him. Okay, so now we have the unknown. The unknown is an unknown person, an unknown place, or unknown feeling, something you never felt before. Evil actions or deeds happening here in this home. So something happened here in this home. Um, it could have been an unknown place to him, an unknown person could have been in this home here. And he could have, or he could have been feeling some things he never felt before but due to these evil actions that happened in the home. So now we have a sexual partner, some sexual activity here. This is the earthly uh, pleasures that could be connected to the sexual par partner or sexual activity. There's also material things, um, you outside in nature as well. But this is also like you could receive um, earthly pleasures from someone um, like you in a sexual relationship with. So that earthly thing could be the sexual. And then you have the time. Time means planning the time, something happening over a span of time, but something connected to the timing of something here. That's what time is. So you have here an un, a unknown person. Somebody's not seeing things clearly, but it's connected to someone's death. So he could have been in a situation that he did not understand what was going on or, or with someone that he did not know. And it led to his death here. Now you have some drugs here and some sexual activities. He's in communication with someone that he's in a sexual relationship about some drugs. Or they're talking about some sexual activity and some drugs here. Um, but this could have been some things unknown to him because uh, we also had that exposed up there earlier. So some sexual activity and some drug use is being communicated. So now we have someone is being exposed for who they are, but this person is probably doing some evil actions or deed because they have been exposed. Um, but whatever it is now is known. So now he may have found out about this person and what they're doing. So now we have somebody is making a judgment on somebody uh, about their earthly pleasures or things that they do. And now somebody's getting somebody back because of these earthly things here. Now we have something going on in his home, a fight in his home. This could be with someone that he works with, a co-worker, or it could have been when he was doing a job for someone at his home and he got into an altercation or his fight. Now we have some jealousy, envy, and hate. Something is broken on the body here. Somebody's broken emotionally, but this is somebody could be doing something with the timing of something so somebody could have planned this um this could have been something that that happened at a certain time so now we're going to go into these cards here Okay, so here we have uh, someone plotting here. Okay, so this means someone from your past, someone you have known a long time, someone needs compassion or nurturing. So this is someone that you show compassion for or this someone who needs to be nurtured. 
This is someone plotting against you. So here we have someone from your past, someone you've known a long time. This person is plotting against you, or that you had a deadly encounter, or you've been set up, I should say. This is someone uh, nurturing, needs nurturing or compassion. This person is considered to be a friend. So you could be showing compassion for a friend or doing some things for a friend here, someone you've known a long time. This person is plotting against you. This is connected to someone with money. Or material things you see the earthly possessions earthly pleasures material things So here you have someone from your past, someone you've known a long time here. This person is, uh, you had a deadly encounter. This person is impulsive or bullheaded. So this person just does whatever um, they don't think. Okay, this person is plotting against you. You see this, what's going on in this home. Here somebody needs nurturing or compassion. This is an ex and that needs some compassion. Are you showing compassion for an ex? And this is connected to a friend. So this could be an ex-friend or a friend of an ex here. And this person is showing compassion for them here. That could be that unknown person here, that friend of the ex. So that person could be connected to the ex and this is friend. You don't know this person because they are connected to your ex. So you, this person could have came into this home here of the friend. And then that's when you got into this fight. So now you have someone plotting against you con connected to some material things. And then you have this devilish person here plotting against you. And then here, this is someone has uh, crossed over. So this is someone who has passed away. Because we got that death card right there. Okay, so this is someone being honest and truthful, um, and then this is someone passing away. So somebody is probably communicating about uh, someone crossing over, because you see here it's known. So somebody knows what happens. Because see, somebody is talking, being honest, open about it. unknowns right here so this is someone unknown unknown feeling unknown uh, person or unknown place so this is someone that you don't know So now we have here, this is someone who's trying to get away from a situation. This person wants to be left alone. They want to go away here. They want to get away from the situation. You see they're here with this uh, deadly encounter. So now this is a pregnant woman, a mom or a pregnant uh, female.
Okay, so here you have a deadly encounter or something with here that we have the plotting against you. Somebody acting impulsively. Somebody's trying to get away from the situation. Someone has an illness, sickness, or disease here. So you have someone from your past here that's acting impulsive. Here you have this ex, this friend of the ex. Could be um, the ex's friend because you have a pregnant mother here. So this this could be uh, siblings or this is uh, alter ego, the other side of a person that you don't know about. Because here um, you got this bias here. So now you have someone plotting against you here. And this is an innocent person, someone in the wrong place at the wrong time. Because see here, somebody is crossed over and somebody is talking about it. So this person is innocent in this situation and they got caught up. And see, now it's known. Because see, somebody's being honest about it. They're talking about it. So that is E. Otis Harris. So this read is going to be on Angelo Graham. He is, I think he's 13 or 14. Uh, I'm not quite sure where he's missing from, um, but I think it says father said he ran away from home or something along those lines. Um, I'll put, uh, put it up here to see where he's from once I find out where he's from and how old he is. But this is going to be Angelo Graham. So we're going to look into his case right now. Okay, so here we have the talk. Gossip, rumors, people talking about someone is broken emotionally or something is broken on your body. So somebody could be talking about that. The air is the communication, the thoughts and communication, but it's also your breathing has been stopped. So somebody is communicating. So you've got the rumors and the talk about someone being broken emotionally or something being broken on their body. So people are talking about that. You see, this is the air, but this, like I said, this could also means someone air has been stopped. Breathing has been stopped. So now here we have a fading relationship. So a relationship that he has with someone is not going well. This could be a parent's a child relationship, a friend relationship, a fading relationship, just any type of relationship, but it's not going well. Here you have someone laughing about something. They feel like they're getting away with whatever that they're doing. Um, so this is like an evil laugh. So somebody feels as if they're getting away with something. Here you have someone being picked out or selected. So you're choosing this person here to do something to. So here we have this fading relationship with someone. Someone's laughing about some things. See, they're, they're choosing to do something to him. Or they're picking him out. Because you see here, someone is broken emotionally because they're being picked out or chose. Like somebody selecting this to do to them. Breaking something on this person's body or emotionally. You have to talk here and somebody's laughing. So somebody could be doing some evil type of talk to him or in that like they're doing something, talking to him in a bad type of way. And see, this is the communication and the thoughts here of this fading relationship.
So somebody could be talking to him and like like you could be putting somebody down. So that's that that evil laugh and that talk. So now here you have a sexual partner, some evil actions or deeds and someone crossing over. So a sexual partner could be responsible uh, for him crossing over because of some evil actions or deeds here. So um, like I said, this is a sexual partner, not necessarily his sexual partner, but a sexual partner of someone is causing him to cross over or connected to him crossing over. And he could probably be trying to get away from the situation because crossed over could also mean um, you're trying to change your life or get uh, start anew because of these evil things that's going on and he's being broken emotionally. So he could be trying to get away. But this also means that someone has crossed over like deceased because something has been broken on their body due to some evil actions or deed by a sexual partner. Someone's sexual partner, not saying his sexual partner. So now we have here this neighbor. Neighbor is someone that can get close to you, someone that's in close proximity to you. Or actual neighbor someone needs medical care this is a medical professional or a hospital building so someone needed medical care due to something that someone that was close to them did and see this is the communication the media so the, any type of communication someone is talking about some things here about something they did to him in particular so the conversation because we got here talk but see somebody's talking about him needing medical care someone that's close to him is talking about him needing medical care you see that thoughts and communication the talk evil talk someone crossing over So we have this death here. Um, where you see someone needs medical care. Something is unknown. So people may not know that he's deceased or this is a uh, he's in an unknown place or this is from an unknown person. Something he's never felt before that led to his death but is connected to a father. So now you have the jealousy, envy, and hate here. So somebody is jealous of you, envious of you in some way, and this is why they have done this. So you have this kill and this soul. So someone is killing someone's soul, like this one spirit, because of, of because they're jealous or envious of this person in some way. But also, this jealous, envious person has also is a killer. This is their soul. This is what they what they do because we see the death here. So. We see this death here connected to a, sex, a sexual partner of this father. And see, this is the communication about the death by this sexual partner. Now we see a fate of relationship, someone that's close to him. There's some jealousy, envy, and hate. So someone that's close to him is uh, jealous of him or je has some jealousy or hatred. But there's also a fate in relationship in here as well. Then you have some things being unknown. What's unknown could be the evil talk, like the negative talk that they're doing to him. This could be someone uh, bullying you in a by talking to you in a nasty way. This evil actions, okay? They could be talking about doing that 
but this is unknown. Like people don't know that this talk right here is going on because it's unknown. So we have here the kill. Someone needs medical care. Somebody's laughing about the fact that they killed him or that, that they got away with or they get in the way with killing him. Here you have this father here connected to someone crossing over. Something is being broken on the body or someone is broken emotionally. Whoever's broken emotionally has crossed over due to this father. So you can see the death here and there's someone crossing over here. Something is broken on their body. He said, but because of some evil actions or deeds that has happened to him. So here you have um, someone's talking about see this is a talk about him because someone has picked him out okay someone's talking about him and then his soul because you got here him being picked out something about his soul his spirit people are talking about this see the death and the sexual part it could be talking to the father about what they did to him, causing him to cross over. Okay, so now I'm going to go into these cards. Okay, so this is someone going along with something, someone being submissive. This is someone missing you, a uh, heartbreak, um, and then this is the chaos over here. So here you have a traumatized or wounded child and someone is going along with that. Someone is going along with traumatizing or wounding this child. Here you have someone missing you, but this person could have is confined or restricted in some way. You see something is broken on this child's body, but um, that could be the restriction here. Because confined or restricted means you're confined to a space, you're confined to... Uh, you like you can't do something that you want to do or someone is holding you down or this could be like you in prison or something like that but either way the someone is being confined or restricted here you have someone that's unstable or rebellious there's some chaos surrounding this person here this instability this chaos surrounding someone So here you have someone cheating, someone cheating you out of something or someone cheating on you. So someone is going along with something. This could be someone that he was cheating with um, and there with this traumatized child. Because then you have here some illegal activity or drug use. Someone being confined because someone could be locked up for uh, some illegal activities could have been to prison before some for some illegal activity or some drug use. But he's missing this person here that's being uh, confined or restricted because of some illegal activity. So this could be like I said, someone is uh, confined because of some illegal activities or some drug use here. But he's missing whoever this person. This could be the other parent. So he could be uh, staying with the father, but missing the other parent. So here, 
you have this chaos here surrounding someone who is uh, unstable and rebellious. This person has an illness, sickness, or disease. So this person could be mentally unstable here, and this is why they are um, rebellious or doing these things. That's led, this leading to his death over here, because this person is unstable. It could be um, he's dealing with the situation here, this chaos surrounding this unstable person, because this person could have been um, locked up or something, or connected to someone who was locked up, so now he's going through this chaotic situation because he's surrounded by this unstable person and this and this drug use or this illegal activity here and over here someone is going along with it so the father could have been with this sexual this could be the sexual partner of the father could have been cheating on the mom the mom could be away and so this sexual partner is abusing him So here you have someone is getting help. So someone is going along with some. They're getting help from someone because someone is going along with what they're doing here to traumatize this child. Someone that he was cheating with. The father could be cheating with someone. Now we have here, this is somebody wants to do what's right. But this person is locked up or confined because of some illegal activity or drug use. But they want to do the right thing. But this is someone that he's missing. So this could be the other parent. The other parent could be locked up for something. And he's missing that person. Or that person is missing him and they want to do the right thing. But they can't because they are confined. Here this is someone from a different culture or background here. There's some chaos surrounding this person. So this person is different from him in some type of way. So here we have someone impulsive and bullheaded. So this is like a, like I said, this person is traumatizing this child that they act on impulse. They just do things on impulse, but they're getting help from someone because someone is going along with what they're doing to traumatize this child. So this, like I said, the sexual partner, someone they was cheating with, helping them to traumatize this child. This person acts on impulse. So this this child is being traumatized and wounded. Now you have here, someone wants to do the right thing, but this person has crossed on and passed on. So this person, like I said, this could be the other parent who was locked up for some illegal activity or some drug use. He was missing this person. But this person wanted to do the right thing but they were uh, confined and restricted, but this person has passed on and maybe he's missing this other person because this could be the other parent here that has passed away. But this person wanted to do the right thing by him, but this person is was confined and restricted because of some illegal activities or whatever. But this person wanted to do the right thing, but this person has passed away. Here you have this chaos going on. And you have this unstable person. This person is sick. 
this person is with someone from a different culture or background that he's black and I don't know if the step the sexual partner could be white or whatever but this is someone from a different culture or background this was person that was he was the father was cheating on maybe they met this person from work or this person's job was to help to uh, help this father traumatize his child was going along with traumatizing and wounding this child that was what they were supposed to do So this is Alfredo Graham. You can tell me what you think in the comment section.